I'm doing something a bit different today because I wanted to show you a quick and easy way of making a sponge cake because I know we all like to treat ourselves and we like to give our kids little treats and stuff like that but if you go to any shop and you look at the ingredients on a cake there's usually about 25 to 30 ingredients the sponge cake I'm going to show you how to make today only has four ingredients we've got eggs, butter, sugar and flour and also got some seasoning here um, some flavouring, I've got some almond and some vanilla and I'm just going to show you how to make a really quick easy sponge cake so first of all I'm going to show you how to weigh all the ingredients in your cake and I've got this really quick easy method that my mum showed me and all you have to do is however many eggs you're going to be using in your cake I'm using four today what you do is you weigh your eggs and however much your eggs come up to in, in this, right? however much they weigh that is the same weight that you're going to have for your butter, your sugar and your flour. So it's really that simple, just weigh your eggs, whatever it comes to, measure out the rest of the ingredients and have those all ready. So that's really simple. So now what we're going to do is start making the cake and the first thing you do is you put your sugar, and I'm using caster sugar, put that into the bowl and also you're going to put your butter into the bowl. And this is really quick, it's not no messing about, it's really really quick. You just mix it and basically put it in the oven, that's all it is. So what we're going to do is just cream that together really quickly. Especially on a, on a nice warm day like this, it doesn't take long because the butter's already melting. Basically, you want it to look like that. That's your sugar and that's your butter together. So now what we're going to do is add our flour straight in and also add the four eggs straight in. Some people like to put the eggs in a bowl first, I just, I just knock them straight in, it's fine. four eggs. Okay and also at this point this is when I add my flavouring so we're going to put a bit of almond. It's up to you however much you want to use. Don't use too much almond because it's quite greasy. So a bit of almond extract and a bit of vanilla. I like to mix them both because it tastes really good. And vanilla. just mix it all together. You are going to get some bits on the side that don't get mixed in. Just use your spatula to clean the bowl, like that, clean the sides, just put it all back in. Just mix it until it's nice and creamy and it really doesn't take long at all. Basically, that is your cake mixture. Nice and creamy, and it smells lovely. Have a smell. <laughs> it smells lovely. It's good. Right, what I've got here is a greased dish. You can use anything you want. You can use a cake tin, anything you want. Um, and now we're just going to take the cake mixture. Let me just... I can edit this one. Right, so we're just going to take the mixture and put it into our bowl. Just stick it in. Yum. 
and my daughter's been waiting for the bowl. I will be cleaning that bowl out too. <laughs> <laughs> and just flap, flatten it down in there. The cats come over as well yeah, for some cake. Yeah, you can have some later, Georgie. <laughs> mm, that looks good. I'm going to make sure. Shush cat. <laughs> Sounds like a scene. <laughs> yeah. Right, so that's it. And that's your cake, ready to bake. That's the cake, it's gone in and I'm putting it at 190 and that's going to bake for roughly about an hour um, and you'll know because you'll start to smell it cooking and you'll know when it's ready and it should be nice and golden brown on top and I will show you in about an hour, we'll come back to this. Right, so I've taken the cake out of the oven, now I'm just going to put it on the cake wire rack. And all you have to do is, this is the way I do it, you put the rack onto the cake like that, upside down obviously, and then with your cloth you just turn the whole thing over, and hopefully you should have a lovely sponge cake on there. Mm. 